Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Hello? Hello everyone, let me see the project A Comber approach to protect cloud computing against XML DOS and HTTP DOS attacks Cloud computing is internet based computing whereby shared resources, software and information provide that to computers and other devices on demand it is still in its infancy in regarding to the software as service, web service, utility computing and platform as service. One of the most serious threat to cloud computing itself comes from denial of service attack, especially HTTP, XML and REST based denial of service attack because the cloud computing users make their request in XML then send this record using HTTP protocol and build their system interface with REST protocol such as Amazon EC2 or Microsoft Azure these both are uh, cloud providers so the threaten coming from distributed REST attacks are more and easy to implement by the attacker but to security expert very difficult to resolve so to resolve this attack <coughs> this paper introduced a security service called filtering tree which work like a service broker with SOA model it is converting the consumer request in XML tree form and use a virtual cloud defender which will defeat from this type of attack here we filter uh, uh, malicious cloud request and store the malicious in the IP trace back. After that, we process the network monitoring. When uh, the IP is found in IP trace, I mean the request is blocked. Otherwise, uh, it send it to the filters. The defender will uh, apply set of rules and uh, compare the packets. After that, uh, it allowed to. Uh, process the service let me see the flow diagram first the request are sent to the defender here uh, sensor filter it will uh, choose for the number of request and uh, calculate the number of request if uh, malicious number of request is increased then it consider the packet as uh, suspicious and uh, block block the IP. Then it look for hop count. Uh, the hop count is always same when uh, uh, given from a particular IP. When hop count is different from uh, another IP, it uh, considers malicious and uh, suspicious IP. Then it uh, uh, transfer this to puzzle uh, when uh, puzzle is sent to the users when uh, user solve the puzzle mean he can allow it into the system or else he can block it and then uh, the IP is stored in IP trace back in the hop count uh, the suspicious IP is not uh, calculated means then calculate IP frequency when attacker is uh, sending a flooding number of requests to the cloud then he uses same frequency because the packet frequency is same when uh, attacking by flooding request when we found the uh, IP is uh, frequency divergent means then again the IP is considered suspicious then send the IP to the puzzle resolver in puzzle resolver the is puzzle is sent to the particular uh, IP client when the client solve the puzzle means he can able to allow the or else consider as HTTP attack after the all filter we have to check the double signal filtering these are a uh, http attack here we consider the xml attack here in the xml attack we uh, look for uh, xml tags which is closed correctly or not and we look for sql injection like uh, when uh, after user name we 
just the users are commented in the password section it is considered as malicious and uh, the xml attack is found then the ip is stored in the ip trace back every time uh, the user requesting to the cloud first the ip is look back in the ip trace back and the ip is found in ip trace back means the ip is blocked or else uh, it uh, send it to the defender after this kinds of uh, filtering the user is allowed to use the cloud service first run jp capture java this will capture the packets then run defender mm, start the defender server then trash back start it first the client request is uh, send from uh, client then it come to trace back server the trace back look for the ip which is already present in trace back database if already present means it's blocked at that moment or else it uh, send the ip to the defender you see the process this is normal request just give request here request send now the ip is not uh, found in ip trace back so the ip is uh, forwarded to sensor filter this are the ip this are the request sensor filter means number of request this is suspected request the maximum number of request from the server now you click the block suspicious mean the suspicious ip is blocked this is in si a suspicious just click next filter hop count hop count if hop count varies mean the ip is blocked just click it is not a suspicious then click next filter this is frequency divergence filter here uh, when attacker is uh, sending dos attack means uh, he can use same frequency for attack so when the frequency is same means the ip is blocked here the frequency is deferred so ip is not suspicious now click puzzle resolver this is puzzle resolver send puzzle puzzle resolver click date of time process time no server request your puzzle is generated here uh, send it to a client the puzzle is correct means just click uh, you can continue just close it now let me give a xml request here xml server the server is starting on port number 900 now client request just choose xml request click request here uh, choose normal file for normal request the normal request mean the message will come you are connected now let me send uh, attacking request Just choose XML request. Request here, then attack XML. IP is added in this. The IP is added. Suspicious XML request received. 